Hello, so in this video I, I want to show you another tool which could also be useful and uh, help you understand uh, the uh, API calling sequence and how they are being called. Uh, something similar I would say to API monitor except over there you need to specify which APIs you want to monitor. Over here this tool which is called Tiny Tracer by the, uh, the researcher uh, Hashar Zadi, uh, she created this really other, uh, uh, she created this another, I would say, great tool which can help you trace the, uh, the malware's APIs and then that way if let's say you have a, you have a malware which is packed and you want to understand the, how this malware is working or what are the API sequences or what are the APIs that are going to be used for the unpacking process and then you can you can use those and use it in your like debugger and it will help you in your uh, in your manual uh, unpacking process I, I remember uh, one of you asked me last time about this that which APIs and which APIs should we monitor which APIs should we trace etc I uh, told you that there uh, I will share like a, a document with you about that, but in my opinion, this is much better than any document you can have because it will give you all all that. So I already, I would say, uh, prepared the package and configured uh, most of it, uh, especially the building part of it. So it's already built and you can download it from the URL on uh, in the lab document. All I want you to do now is follow the steps here uh, to show you uh, how to configure it on your system. So we will be doing this uh, first. And after that, I'm gonna open my C directory. Also, uh, the author Hashar Zadi also does this. So I'm, I'm actually following what uh, the author already does. And I think it's really good. So let me go here, PC, C, okay. So let's get the, the directory here just copy this or move it if you want whatever you want to do and yep let's bring it here so let's move it to our C drive on the main directory because uh, there are a couple of configurations which are already done uh, to reflect that you can change them but that's up to you so if you go to tiny tracer and then if you go to this directory, you'll find the DLLs have already been compiled and prepared for you. So all of that is done. And if you want to change anything in here, uh, you will need to uh, you'll need to update this. And then uh, this one is if you run it, it will add the tool to the context of your your application or your system. Sorry. So let's say. Uh, Let's say we want to add it uh, here. So all you need to do is uh, merge. It will say, do you want to do that? Yes. Uh, now it's now we have that context to our right click, click, right click menu. So if you right click here, you should see now the run with pin tiny tracer one with run with pin as administrator. So we can now uh, select any one of those. If you want to do any modifications, like there is one I noticed the author uh, mentioned, and I think it's a really good one. I want to use uh, here, I want to edit this. So let me edit this in, I don't know, this is not the best editor. Let's open it probably in, uh, where's my WordPad? I haven't, I don't have WordPad. Add. Yeah, let's get this and let me open the file. So let's get this path here and bring it over here open and let's list everything. So we need this and I want to edit one uh, feature here. So enable short longing is one uh, that will only give you the DLL and the function called from the DLL. But if you want to also know uh, the DLL, the full path to the DLL, it's that's a good one. So you can just switch this to 
zero that will now uh, do that for you so now let's go and do a test with one of the samples that we have so let's go do for example a test and and by the way i will show you one other thing this is a really good tool in my opinion this is one of the best tools you can use out there for your malware analysis and let me uh, p bear yep let's start that so let's see which one will we go with let's go with hello one so let's load this here uh, into p bear we can see here there is no uh, like relative virtual addresses and functions and you can see here even when you go some of them are already known so p bear uh, managed to let's say understand some of the calls here but probably there might be some calls that are still unknown so let's see what will happen when we uh, when we use uh, the uh, the tiny, tiny tracer and then how that will be uh, now how that will help you even when you load it into PE bear so let's right click and say tiny tracer as administrator I'm gonna do that so it's gonna be running I'll show you this sample and I'll show you one other sample which is the uh, which is a sample that does uh, is packed that I packed last time in the last video and I showed you how to unpack it so I'll show you both and you'll also see especially in the other one you'll see uh, how the transitions from the sections will be also seen there so let's go here and let me uh, specify that I want to open this with oh okay so this is the one that you like <laughs> let's uh, do this i forgot this is the one otherwise i wouldn't be running it but no problem so we can see here if we maximize this we can see here the the dlls let me even uh, increase this width and let's minimize this a little yeah this is much better so let's go back up here okay so you can see the uh, the path to the DLL that was uh, called and you can see also the function that was referenced from that DLL same thing here load library exw get process uh, and then here also uh, kernel based DLL and then this this library uh, sorry this function was called here the same thing these are by the way the offsets that were called and you can see uh, the list of the functions all of them that happened this is the whole sequence uh, because this uh, pin is an instrumentation tool it, it's kind of emulating the uh, kind of emulating the system so you can see how the execution is going on uh, so here we saw all of these all of these calls so you can you can understand exactly how this application is working and what are the the apis which are being called so you can see here like it's using icmp create file icmp send echo sleep copy file move file if you if we go back here for a second you'll see it deleted itself and now it renamed itself with another file how did that happen you can now uh, uh, it is probably clear that a copy file a first copied the file and then it moved it and then created the uh, file so probably this is the way how that happened you you can use this to go into much more details but this is the whole process uh, how that happened and even the right click as you can see uh, because the, this is the mouse switch that all of you like uh, you can see how those uh, keys were open how the key was then created and how a value was set how it was closed and you can see the swap mouse button the one that everyone likes uh, here so we can we can see all of that and this will really help you in your investigation so let's close that and go to another one okay so i know now we have the uh, swap click here but that's fine let's go to was it 5a yeah this is the packed version 
oh and uh, let me just go back one second yeah let me go back we did this one so if we did this one where is the hello one let me just extract it again and uh, this time i'm gonna extract it yep here enter the password let's load it this time into pe bear but this time what it will use pe bear will use the tags that now have been generated the tag file that's how uh, this uh, tiny tracer works it will generate the tag file and then this tag file if you now come here we can see all the all the functions and as you can see here if you click on it it will show you i think it's showing us but i because i maximize stuff is it going to those locations probably not okay or maybe my mouse is not working correctly anyway we can see all of the uh, the functions how they were called and now even here probably this call was not clear i don't know why but we should be able to see uh yeah even this one is probably unclear what is what this one is but anyway you should be able to see a lot of the code actually now uh, much more better so if we go let's say here let's grab this over here we can see these are all part of the code itself yeah so anyway uh, we can see these uh, where is this so this one not sure follow RVA Oh, okay so we need to right click okay so we can even as you can see here uh, just right -a click and we can we can use this option so that way once I click on it it will go to that location so as you can see here if we want to go to this uh, swap mouse button so we can just click on this it will take us to where that function has been called and we can see the uh, where that function has been called and all of the uh, the, the code inside of it okay so this is really uh, this is really a good one so let's close this and let's unload this and go do another test so let's do this i think we should be closing this one yeah let's leave this one open so now this one uh, let's go back and run the this one which is packed and you'll see how the difference now so tiny tracer we'll run it as admin so let's do that Let's see. Uh, document is being used. Okay, let's wait. Did the tiny tracer break? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pause the video and reboot the machine just so that uh, I think we, uh, I, uh, because of the what the changes that happened, that might have caused something because this should be working fine. Let me just pause the video and reboot reboot the system. Okay, so we are back now. Uh, let's do. Uh, let's go to our downloads. Lab five, and I'm gonna delete this. Okay, and run this again with administrator privileges and it should be working now okay so everything is good
so I'm gonna pause the video because you already know this okay so the uh, the sample has finished running now if we check here we can see all the uh, so it, we can see see this is one of the things I like about the tool it can also show you in which section it started and because this was a packed one so it started if you remember from section 2 which I called lul uh, uh, 2 and then you can see all these get process and because it's uh, and even load library because it's calling loading all the, the processes to do the unpacking stuff and then as you can see here it now transitions to the section uh, lol1 so it seems the packing has finished and now we can see from here uh, it's the even all the switching between lol1 and going back to lol2 so the switching between even the uh, the sections you can also see that very clear in in the uh, in the tool and again you can configure it like here to see the full path to the DLL and then you'll know which function actually was used there so you can see all of this you can see all of these functions how they were uh, called I'm gonna go down and these will all I, I, I would I don't want to say all of them you will need to trace them down but these will be helpful to you when you want to do your unpacking so you can see all of these uh, so some of them are because there was like a keylogger stuff going on in the background probably getting some focus sending messages you can see all of those user 32 DLL being called with all the different details and yeah so now this from from there moving on you can see that all of that was the malware after it got uh, packed so you can see these were at the beginning here very helpful to your uh, your analysis because now you on you can see which are the functions which got uh, which were used in order to uh, unpack this uh, this application this malware okay so you can see here I thought it got disconnected yeah you can see they it called this it called that all of this was uh, very clear you can see all of them okay so this will be helpful to you if you want to use uh, a debugger and add some breakpoints that way you will be able to uh, use these APIs with your uh, unpacking process okay so uh, that's it for uh, this video I wanted to show you this other tool which you can uh, now take advantage of uh, whether for the the previous samples you can I would recommend you go and uh, play with them again using now tiny tracer uh, or maybe the future samples which we give you to work on so you have now I would say a good amount of information or tools to use for tracing and understanding how things are working and yeah stuff like that so uh, that's it here yeah, for this video and see you in the uh, see you in the next video thank you and bye bye